peeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. On today's episode of Library of Macabre, I will be reviewing At the Cemetery Gates, Volume 1 and 2. If you're like me, odds are you have been watching the Super Bowl promos for the Gamma del Toro produced film adaption of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark on repeat for the past few days. It seems like everybody is excited for this movie, and I know I am. It looks like they've really nailed the aesthetic of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and the creatures look so creepy, like right out of the pages of those books. It seems like a Scary Stories revival is finally in our midst. But really, if you think about it, the movie is pretty late to the game because there are a lot of uh, scary stories, throwback books that have been published over the past few years. Now, Cemetery Gates Media was one of the first to issue forward this new wave of tales inspired by the trauma of our youth with books like Corpse Cold, New American Folklore, which I have already reviewed on this channel, so I'll post a link up there. Great book. Uh, they have also released... Tales from Valley View Cemetery, which I actually have yet to read. And since their latest book, At the Cemetery Gates, Volume 2, was recently sent to me for review, I decided to go back and read Volume 1 of At the Cemetery Gates. At the Cemetery Gates, Year 1, was one of their very first scary stories inspired books. This takes the style of those scary stories from our youth, but it ages them up for a modern adult audience. The stories do contain some slightly more mature content, and the stories are a bit longer, but the spirit of the original books is still here. As with all anthologies, there are a couple stories in this book that aren't quite as good as others, but there isn't a single story here that isn't at least entertaining. Overall, I really liked At the Cemetery Gates Year One. I thought it had a lot of really good stories, especially the, uh, the story from the cover here was very spooky. Uh, but even though I liked this book, I liked At the Cemetery Gates, Volume 2, even more. I can definitely see how Brule and Sullivan's writing has improved between uh, the time these two books were published, as they had time to publish a bunch of other books and really hone in their craft. But their passion for these stories and their love of the macabre from year one still stays perfectly intact for volume two. The stories are quick and fun, the atmosphere is spooky, and the chills are plentiful. Especially the very first story in this book, it really kicked the book off to a good start. It took a lot of the uh, tropes from scary stories and mushed them all together. And then it ended on a note that I did not see coming at all and it sent shivers up my spine. And I was home alone when I read it and it was night and it was quiet and it was very spooky. So I definitely recommend reading both of these books as well as everything else that Cemetery Gates Media has to offer. They have these, which are all of their scary stories kind of inspired books, but they also have a ton of other books that you can choose from. There's really so much to read. But if you need some reading material to hold you over until August when the Scary Stories movie comes out, these are the best way to go. Uh, for At the Cemetery Gates, uh, you could start with year one or you could read volume two. There's really no continuity between the two other than the style of the stories, so they could be read out of order just as easily. So that is my review of At the Cemetery Gates volume one and two. I will leave links down below in the graveyard where you can purchase copies of these books. Uh, the paperbacks are pretty cheap. They're only 10 bucks a piece and I think the uh, Kindle copies are even cheaper, so they really don't cost much. Thank you all so much for watching this review, and I will see you in the next one. Later, creeps.